Hello everyone, it's Sharon and today I am taking you through my everyday makeup drawer. If you are interested in seeing how I went about picking up my items, you know, I shot my stash. Um, I will have that linked if it's already up. If not, stay tuned because I did that. So I wanted to just show you then like a get ready with me with everything that I've got in here now. So we're going to start off with a few primers. The first is the Tula Skincare Glow and Get It Eye Balm. I haven't really used this too much. Um, and you can see my under eyes are really dark. Um, Pippi and Francis, my pugs, were just crazy this morning. Um, barking for hours. So my last few hours of sleep were lacking. Um, and then today I'm going to use the Estee Lauder Double Wear. So I want to use a good glowy and also pore filling. So I'm going to use two primers. Um, I'm first going to use from Tula the Brighten Up Gel Primer and I'm going to concentrate that just on, it's like a really like petroleum jelly kind of like, not a sticky um, primer and I'm going to focus that on my areas that I have larger pores to just smooth out those areas. Um, but since I'm going to be using that double wear foundation, I also want a nice glowy base. So we're using the Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Primer. Love this stuff. Gives such a pretty glow. My skin has been really acting up lately, so I need this full coverage foundation today. And it's an outdoor graduation. Did I mention that? I'm getting ready for my cousin's high school graduation and it's outside and it's rainy today so we'll see I also love this dress that I'm wearing it's one of my favorites um okay we're gonna go with eyes first because that's always what I do and for primer one of the items I picked was the Urban Decay Primer Potion if you've been around here you know I love this stuff it's always the one that I go back to for a favorite primer it's just so so good. I just recently got the Sigma Ambiance palette. It's new. I have not even played with it yet, but it's got a beautiful mirror. Look at those shadows. And it comes with this gorgeous double-ended brush from Sigma. And Sigma brushes are some of my favorites. It's got a fluffy end and a flat shader brush. And this middle part is gold and glittery and it's beautiful and I love it. So we're just going to go in, play with, play with some of these. Okay, I'm going to take this, um, Days shade here. It's kind of the um, neutral, transition-y looking type shade I'm going to use to set the lid. This is a Sigma brush I got at Marshalls. Take a look if you haven't recently. My Marshalls and TJ Maxx have had Sigma brushes, so keep an eye out for that. I think I'm going to go in with Daylily with this e.l.f. fluffy crease brush. This is one of my very favorite crease brushes. It's so good. If you haven't picked it up, you definitely need to. It's either three or six dollars. I forget which. I want to say it's three. Um, if I can remember, I'll have it linked below, but you can get it anywhere that e.l.f. is sold and it's so good. And there's a couple different ones. Make sure you get the fluffy eye blender brush. That's the best one in my opinion. Okay, I'm going to go in with a little bit smaller brush and a deeper shade. I'm going to use this at Cosmetics Brush and Oasis here on this outer V area. Of course, in good shared fashion, I'm running behind schedule from what I had originally intended. Um, so I've got very few minutes to finish getting ready. Like it's 3.30 and we need to leave here at 4.00. I'm going to use the brush that it came with and this luster shade here that is like calling my name. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. So pretty. I knew this palette would be good. Knew it. That is gorgeous. This is going to be a really good get ready with me since it's going to be almost real time. I mean, I'll speed up some areas so it's not just like super boring or I'll you know cut out little chunks, but 30 minutes to get ready for a somewhat glam look pretty good. Love that lid shade. That's gorgeous. Okay. Then I'm going to take my MAC 
242, no, 217. And I need a little darker shade. We're gonna go with this enrich shade, this deep chocolatey brown. Just a little bit here. Not super heavy. I don't want this to be like a crazy smoky eye, especially since my dress is kind of fantastic. It's bright and colorful and floral. So I don't want like my makeup to be too distracting. I want it to just complement everything. And these warm shades are definitely working with this orangey kind of dress. I just love it. Blend that all together. Then I'm going to take a clean blending brush and just buff out those edges. So you can see that came together so, so fast. Really pretty. I know it's really distracting that my under eyes are so dark. <laughs> really sorry. Um, okay. Now this has been a favorite technique of mine lately. I've been using the By Mario um, Master Pigment Pro Pencil and the Perfect Brown. It's the really rich chocolatey brown. And I have been smudging out the upper lash line for liner. And I have been loving that look. So we're going to try to do that on camera. Um, I've never really done this before, but now that I am doing it, it's like my favorite way to do upper liner. I know you're not supposed to pull your eye, but... I feel like that's the most effective way to do this. Ooh, I got that line really thick there. <laughs> now it's got the brush on the other end that I just used to smudge it out. I kind of flick it out into the outer area for like a little bit of a wing and then I smudge it in. Just messy. It got thicker than I wanted, so let's see how we can smudge it out here. It'll look good though with the mascara. So I might go over it a little bit too with some more shadow because that did get really thick there. But I do do love this technique and I really want to try it out with a drugstore liner. So if you have one that you really like for doing liner like that, let me know. I want to try it out. Okay, I'm going to touch up that middle, the, the shadow here a little bit just because of that liner. Just diffuse it a little. Okay, and then mascara. I think today we're gonna go in with my, I'm gonna go with the combo. We're gonna do CoverGirl Lash Blast Primer, Maybelline Falsies, and Benefit Roller Lash. We're gonna kinda do all of those to get the desired look. I'm using my favorite lash curler. Okay, then we're gonna go in with my favorite lash primer. If you've been here, for any length of time, you know, I've been obsessed with this CoverGirl lash primer. All credit to give to Sandra D Beauty 01 here because she is the one that talked about it and I had to have it and it has become like my very favorite. This one's starting to dry up. I have a backup though. I think I might need to break it out soon because this is feeling really dry. Okay, I've been loving the Maybelline Falsies lash lift. There's two different kinds, specifically like this one that's the lash lift, I think is what it's called. False, yeah, lash lift. It's so good. It's that like hourglass shape wand. And I just think it does such a beautiful job. Look at that. I hope you can tell. <laughs> I don't have you zoomed in very much. Do you guys like that when it's really zoomed in? Or do you like when it's a little bit further out? I never know. I never want you to be like all up in my face if you think that's weird. But if you think that's helpful, let me know and I'll, I'll do that. I'm really happy with the way those lashes are looking. And that smudged out lash line does look really good with that liner. I need water. I have not had enough water today. Um, on to the face. Like I said, I've already got my primer on. But we are going to use the Estee Lauder, 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 Estee Lauder Double Wear. And I got mine in the shade 1C0 Shell. So let's cross our fingers that this is a good shade match for me. And I recently got the Paw Paw Blender from... Oh, I think I got way too much on there. Um, I'm trying this out. Oh, yeah, I think I got the perfect shade. Look at that. I think that matches perfect. Um, Jessica Braun loves this sponge. So I finally wanted to check it out, so I finally placed an order. It actually came faster than I thought I would. Uh, than I thought it would. 
Man, if you don't use too much of this stuff, this foundation, it is really nice. This is a nice sponge. I do like it. Okay, so I think if we bronze everything up a little bit, I'll be a little bit happier with how it's going to look. Because I feel like this looks maybe a little mask-like. I don't know. Let's get some concealer on. We're going to go with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I haven't used this in so long. And I recently picked it up again. I mean, I remember when YouTube was first, like, a thing. This was so, so popular. I'm going to try to get this zit up here. Um... This was such a popular concealer. It was the one that everyone wanted to use. And I remember I thought $30 for concealer is crazy. I kind of still think that. But it's been years since I've had it. And so I just really wanted to try it again. I think the shade I got maybe a little bit too dark. But because my under eyes typically lean kind of reddish. Um, I don't like to get concealers that are too too bright for me because it just ends up looking grayish under my eyes and we don't want that either so I kind of walk this fine line of you know finding the perfect under eye concealer shade um I am not going to set my under eye concealer I've been doing that lately too not setting my concealer and I've been loving how that looks so we're gonna keep that up I am going to set the face though with some powder actually I'm going to use the bare minerals pro pressed powder with just super fluffy it cosmetics brush just because like I said it's an outside graduation and it's also raining out so I want this to last and not smudge so looking good looking good for bronzer you know what I'm gonna use yes I'm gonna use the Estee Lauder bronze goddess bronzer and I've been using this eco tools bronzer brush lately it's kind of like a duo fiber there and I have been liking this bronzer it's a little bit darker than I typically go for but with this bronzer brush I have found that I have no issues with me looking too crazy because it is that duo fiber brush. I do like to bring it down my neck a little. Bronze it up, bronze it up. I do use self tanner, but when I use self tanner, I typically use like a medium kind of a shade and I just use it on my legs might be kind of silly but that's what I like to do I'm gonna use my Rockateur blush this is one of my all-time favorite blushes and it does have a little bit of a sheen to it I just think it's so so pretty so pretty this was the fun fact very first high-end blush I ever bought and for a while there they weren't selling it and then it came back and I'm telling you I was so happy when it came back I almost bought two I didn't I just bought one but I wanted to buy two I just love it for highlighter I'm going in with my other favorite since that one kind of already has a sheen I don't need anything too crazy intense I gotta find my highlighter brush there it is um, I'm gonna use my pure afterglow this is one of my favorites I would say it's very comparable to that um, essence highlighter the I don't know, nude something or other. I have it too. Love that. Um, for brows, we are going to go with the Benefit Goof Proof and Anastasia Brow Gel. These are some of my favorite brow products. So. I love the brow pencil that's the triangular tip. For me, that works the best. I am loving the clear brow gel. I have put off buying this ever since it's been around and I've known about it but I've given in and I really like it <laughs> for lips I'm going to go with this NYX lip lingerie XXL in turn on I've been loving this I just think it's like a really nice shade for for me um, I do need to do my lower lash line quickly so we're just gonna take that in rich dark shade there with a pencil brush and I'm just gonna 
barely tap it on this outer part of my lower lash line just to give it a little bit of definition. And then we will finish that off with my Thrive Mascara on the lower lash line. Is it just me or do we feel like I need some highlight on that inner corner? I kind of feel like it. Let's do that. We will use, we're gonna use my Double Gleam from MAC. I'm gonna do something risky and use that same pencil brush I just used for that dark color. But I wiped it off really good, so let's cross our fingers and hope I don't have any issues. It's just such a small knife full brush. Oh yeah, I think that's really nice. I'll just pop it right, right there too on the brow bone. Listen, my 18 year old cousin, she's too cool for me. I never thought I was cool and then then she started growing up and I really knew I wasn't cool anymore. <laughs> like, she's fabulous. And I always feel like I gotta step up my game when I'm gonna see her. Okay, I'm gonna go with my favorite spray right now. It's the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. The only thing I will say of negative about this is that I am almost halfway done. And I haven't even had it that long. Maybe because I use like a gallon every time I spray my face, but don't we all? I just feel like this has really depleted quickly compared to other setting sprays I typically, typically use. All right, so this is how the look turned out. I'm really pleasantly, well, not surprised because I like all these products, but I'm very happy with how it turned out. I think it looks really nice. My hair is also looking really good. I took the time to blow it out today and I'm very happy about that. I just need to find myself some earrings now and I am ready to go. If you guys enjoyed, give this video a thumbs up and I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys.